I had a chance to reconnect with my old friend Max, who sends outdoor V10. I showed him some Moonbo routes that I was struggling with, and he taught me a few techniques that I had never heard of before. Here is what I learned from him. I was having trouble with a move here on a V4 benchmark called Kala, where I have to bring my right hand to the pinch. The left side crimp is pretty terrible to hold on to, so my first instinct was to bring my left foot high, use the inside edge to maximize the surface contact of the shoe and the hold, sit onto the hold, put as much weight as I could on it, and get as close to the wall as possible. The left side crimp is a lot easier to hold on to in this position. However, for some reason, it was still very difficult to bring the right hand onto the pinch. Max told me a counterintuitive tip. And I was a bit skeptical at first, but after applying his tip, this happened. Here is a detailed breakdown of what exactly happened. The best body position for the next move is not always the best body position for the current position. Sometimes you have to purposely make the current position worse for the sake of making the next move easier. He told me to lean back and not to get so close to the wall. He told me to step onto the foothold with just the tip of the big toe instead of the inside edge. This will make holding onto the left crimp a lot harder since less weight is on the foot but I should try my best to engage my scapula to make it possible to hold on to the left crimp in this position. The reason why he wanted me to get into this position is that I can utilize a technique called dead point. The dead point means going for a hold with one hand utilizing momentum in a position where you aren't fully in control in the middle of the movement while the other hand stays on a handhold and one or both feet still stay on the footholds. You can think of it as a dyno but with both feet on the footholds. The dead point is useful when it's impossible to lock off arms and do the move in full control because it requires too much strength. This position is perfect for executing the dead point since my body is away from the wall and there is room for me to thrust my body towards the wall to generate momentum. It is also way easier to keep the foot on the foothold during large and fast upper body movements when you step with the tip of the big toe. It was a pretty magical feeling for me when I executed this technique. I thought what I needed nowadays in order to improve my climbing was training for stronger fingers or maybe subtle technique improvements on body positioning. The last time I saw an instant improvement because of drastically different body positioning is probably when I discovered back step for the first time as a beginner. It's pretty magical that this kind of thing happens again nowadays. This technique seems to be more common in more advanced climbs. I encountered a similar move again in another moonball route called Easy Cheese, and Max encountered it in an outdoor climb. If you are an intermediate climber like me, I hope you will find this video useful. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to find a moonball to try out the same exact moves. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my website, geekclimber.com. See you in the next video.